it's upside down. I was at my mom's a few weeks ago putting LED lights behind this massive tree. You turn it on and it looks incredible. And I said to myself, hey, I could print that. And so I did. Through the printing, love it. We are really looking at about 100 hours worth of 3D printing, but I distributed it among four printers, so it's just like one day of printing. Uh, yeah, it's about this long, so it's pretty big. And this is the rough size of all the parts. The exact size for the perfectionist, it's uh, 125 times 135. Oh, that's not enough. If you think for a second that I would go to eBay for this stuff, you're wrong. I go to Bil Tema, the highest quality stuff a man can get. It's funny because it's not. Something unbelievably fortunate, totally my genius, not at all a mistake. This just wasn't enough to cover the entire tree, so I got some of these cheap LED lights from eBay. These LEDs are offset from each other, so when I choose a color like white, these colors that came with the controller are truly white, while the eBay LEDs are kind of bluish. So it makes it look way more lit. Uh, roll the footage. It makes me really happy to know that this project might be something that a lot of people want to replicate and there's nothing better than seeing your own project posted by someone else. And uh, so I'll totally add the files for this in the description below. Uh, but just a quick update here, I did use epoxy to glue the connections together. I'm not a huge fan that I can see the connections so well, so I did do a, a small experiment here with a filler in a can that didn't work very well. I need something a little bit more filling. And uh, so I want to cover up all the connections. I want to spray paint this white just to cover up even more and make it even more perfect. So we need to go to the store, get some supplies. Just not sure what kind of transition I'm going to do. I've never done the mouth transition. Might, might try that one. That's so awkward. I'm not doing that again. Not in public. My life right now. I think the seamless kind of appearance that we'll gain from this filler is really worth it. So I've just put some filler on all the connections. We'll polish it up before I put on the white. What is it? It's glossy white. That will definitely be nice. Something past Simon didn't think about was to mention how he came about the files to 3D print this entire tree. And so here's a quick explanation for anyone who cares. He googled tree SVG and didn't at all spend three hours picking the perfect one. He then jumped over to Fusion 360, imported the SVG, used extrude and cut to printable sizes. Okay, back to the video. Well, that's just sad. Turns out epoxy wasn't as strong as I thought it was. So I uh, reinforced the backside with a bunch of sticks. I hope you can see that. And uh, hopefully now we can continue with the polishing.
feels like I'm doing it over dramatically, but it really is very delicate. Okay, so here is what I will be doing. It's genuinely not very difficult, but it does take a very long time. So what I mentioned before is that these LEDs have a slightly different color output. So you don't want to put one specific LED on one side of the tree. You really want to scatter all around the area. So that's what I will be doing. I will be cutting these LEDs maybe about that length and I'll put them on the, uh, on the stum, whatever that's in English. Then I'll cut another piece and put it up here. And then I'll use the other LEDs to kind of uh, fill up the area, right? I will be connecting all the LEDs, which is a pain, with this wire. So there will be a lot of soldering involved. And uh, it doesn't take 10 minutes. It takes more like 10 hours. So I'll probably just time lapse through this entire thing. Let's do it. Okay, it didn't take me 10 hours, that was an over-exaggeration. But all the LEDs are in place, I'm super hyped, it will be the first time I see it in the dark. This better look pretty darn good. I do see that, bro. Oh, Jesus. We have a bunch of different colors to choose from. I think it's a total of 16. You see what I'm saying though, I hope this shows up on camera. You see what I'm saying with some LEDs being orange, some being green. That's what really takes this to the next level. And we can adjust the brightness, scrolling through all the colors. You know, there are quite a few ones to choose from. And also, we have a mode I like to call high up. <laughs> I can already tell the comment section is going to be filled with comments like, your electric bill will be this high. Well, no it won't. I will have it lit most of the dark hours. Which is, well, that's pretty much all day in Sweden anyways. Especially now since we are approaching winter. But it seriously doesn't need a lot of light to look very good. So I'll set it to the lowest brightness setting, which is more than enough. And the power output is seriously not very high. So now we are just gonna tidy up the wires, use the magic of hot glue, and uh, make this thing last more than a week. Okay, we are currently at the point where we need to figure out how to mount this on the wall. But first, Check this out, it looks really cool. The green wires is almost like it's internal nervous system. I really like the look of it. Okay, maybe that's just me, but I printed these small spacers, like tiny spacers to offset this tree from the wall. So as you can see, it's not very far from the wall, which I think is a good thing. And uh, I'm just gonna drill some holes and uh, take these giant screws through it. And we're gonna mount it on this wall over here. So you will be able to see it in all the future videos, just like the T-Rex skeleton and, and Pickle Rick over there. You know, all the, all the past projects we've done, uh, I like to have them on display so people can see them. And this is no exception, so let's make it happen. That's pretty nice, yeah? That is ridiculously nice on its own. Honestly, can you tell I'm happy? It looks fantastic. Let me just cover a few things before we make this video lit. I did put the switch on the bottom side, so you don't have to unplug the adapter every single time. The screws sunk in very nicely, no problem here. I did question myself if I were to have a silver paint job instead of a white, but honestly I think the white probably did better. With that being said, let's light this up and make this project 
not success-ish, but actually successful. Best merch in the game, or whatever you're supposed to say. Check it out if you want to. Let's light this up. I'm not sure how well that translates on camera, but I hope you can see that some LEDs are blue and some are white, and it makes for such a cool effect. And it was what I was talking about before, you can scroll through so many different colors to match your mood or whatever. Some colors show more than others. But obviously you can have it full red, you can have it green, and you can have it full blue, and obviously high up. I'll give you some more shots once it's dark outside, see you then. Morning. Thank you for watching. I, I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I enjoyed making it. See you again soon. Bye.